Honestly, if you don't want to cause any trouble in your relationship, in your friendships, don't wear this. Don't. What's up, my chair bombs? On today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some amazing, sexy, heavy hitter beast mode layering combos. Oh my God, you guys, this is our first layering combo video of the year, and I decided to do it for winter. And um, I know I don't usually mention this, but I do wear body creams and oils with layering combos, but with these layering combos, the number one body product that I use after taking a shower is my Nivea body lotion. This is the Essential Enriched Deep Nurturing um, Serum with Almond Oil. It's 48 hour moisture and it's a body lotion. It is for dry to very dry skin. Now I'm not very dry but I love the glow and the um, freshness of this one. Like it has a fresh and clean scent. It's thick enough to layer fragrances so this is one that I really really enjoy and this is what I use as my base for any layering combo unless I'm specifically trying to layer fragrances in a way for it to be the same or whatever this is my go-to and that's why you see a big bottle because I use this on a regular without scent and I use it when I'm layering my fragrances so this is my go-to anywhere I'm going this is what I'm wearing this is my base so most of the time when people say that their fragrances don't last long I kind of can't relate because even if I'm wearing something that's not super long lasting, but with this right here, this right here is the secret sauce, okay? This is the secret sauce to any layering combo in my collection, in my opinion. So this is what I be wearing under all of these. So don't comment down below and ask me that because this is what I'm wearing. The first combo is one from a tightly braided orange and this is one that I constantly wear together because I love this combo. It is so sexy, you guys. I remember wearing this and my husband just couldn't get enough. He was like, you smell like roasted chestnuts. He was like, you smell so edible. You smell so luxe and you smell like gourmet desserts. And this is a tight liberated orange frustration. Frustration is a beautiful, nutty, chestnutty vanilla fragrance. If you're looking for something that is very nutty and exotic, straight out of the box, then this is good. I love to smell good and I love to smell very rich and luxe and I don't like to smell like everybody else. So even though this fragrance is amazing on its own, y'all, and trust me, it is amazing on it all, on its own. And each one of these fragrances are amazing on its own. So if you're against layering, you can go ahead and exit because this is definitely a layering channel. I love to layer, and sometimes I wear my fragrances by itself, but most of the time I'm layering it to stand out. Frustration is amazing, but when you add on the Nest Madagascar perfume oil, oh my gosh! So this is the Madagascar vanilla perfume. So when I am wearing this. I use my lotion, of course, and then I put this inside of that lotion, and then I top it off with that. This combo right here, you guys, will get you so many compliments. But a lot of you guys say that this is a little too nutty for y'all, or slightly too smoky, or even masculine. So if you're feeling like that, definitely add the Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil from Ness, because these two are dangerous together. Like, you will get compliments, and Adding the oil even makes it last longer because this lasts a long time. So adding these together is amazing. And if you didn't know already, your girl hit 100K on Instagram. Oh my God. I just hit it like out of nowhere. On December 26th, I posted a video and that video was the one to make me get there. Um, it That's not the video that went viral, but that was the video that put me into the algorithm. And then I started to create, 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 create. And then like two days later, I dropped a video and that video got me to 100K. I literally gained about 60K followers in less than two weeks okay so and i am still growing i have another video that went viral again and i just love and appreciate every one of you guys if you're on instagram and you're following me on there and you witness me gr the growth thank you so much and if you're not following me on instagram go ahead and follow me because i am doing a giveaway for a full bottle of frustration by a totally braided orange so all you got to do is just go find that post you're gonna see the post picture um with the it's hotly braided orange frustration um, bottle on there and that's gonna have all the details for you to enter the giveaway you guys so if you're coming from instagram welcome i love each and every one of y'all and this layering combo is 
amazing. And the next combo is one that I just discovered two weeks ago, you guys. And when I tell you I wore this and my husband was just like, baby, you can't wear this all the time. Like you could only wear this on date nights for me. And I was just like, dang, cause it smells so good. And it is. If you have La Capitale by Zherzhov, you definitely need to layer it with Peregrina. You guys, the caramel note in these fragrances are so freaking good. It's so mouthwatering. Like, honestly, you will smell like a sexy, rich woman. Like, I imagine a queen wearing this. Of course, Peregrina is royalty. And then, of course, Zherzhov is all about royalty as well. But wearing this together, this is what I imagine Beyonce smelling like. Like, and y'all know I love Beyonce. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I love Beyonce because almost all my videos that I'm talking, I have Beyonce in the background. So, I love Beyonce, right? So this is what I imagine her wearing. The caramel in this, I love caramel personally, but the caramel, the rose, and the strawberry and peach mixed together, it becomes like a blast of fruits and exotic notes. Like, it is so good, y'all. And the compliments I got on this fragrance, it was unreal to the point that my husband literally said what he said, like, wear this for me only. It is so freaking good, you guys. And talk about literally you only need four sprays like two of this one and two of that one now i always put the stronger fragrance first but in the case where both fragrances are super strong it just doesn't matter but for me i always do the one that i feel like that is slightly stronger which is a zerjoff so i do two sprays of this and then i do two sprays of this now when i wore this i did one two literally and then i did one two i didn't know how strong it was going to be so i did another one on my wrist and then I did another um, pair behind my legs because my legs were showing that day. So I wanted, you know, well, even if they're not showing, I still spray them. But I wanted like every time I walk for them to get that sniff. Y'all, I felt like I was choking myself out, even though um, I was outside. So the air was helping me. But y'all, this right here top tier and I just kept getting stopped like people was like girl you smell so good so definitely try these two out you will not regret it and honestly this is between me and you don't share this with nobody else if you wear this y'all y'all smell good this next combo is perfect for the winter air and this is perfect for like every day you guys now when you hear the combo you're gonna be like girl you wear this every day but honestly y'all I love it it smells so good when I want to stand out and when I'm running errands and I want to be so sexy and I want to smell sexy because I know I'm going to be out all day y'all this combo right here I'm so excited about it because it is so simple but like so crazy at the same time Casablanca and then I layer it with Ebony Woods what if you ever felt like Casablanca was too sticky and sweet because honestly let's be honest this is an Arabian fragrance. So Arabian fragrances are always super strong. And this right here will cut through all the winter air, like literally cut through it and look at winter and be like, girl, <laughs> you thought you was doing something? You thought I was feeling you? <laughs> Listen, when you wear this fragrance, that's the type of effect that you're gonna get. Like what? I love this because it has beautiful apple, it has caramel, it has peach, it has all those exotic, pretty, beauty, fruity, fla fla notes that you would like. And then this one is so simple. It has ebony, it has clove, and it has pink pepper. Or was it black pepper? It has a pepper in it. But putting this together, this this adds the spice that this was missing and it does have some spice but this makes it brighter and a little bit more spicier and fresher yeah, i better come over here and get y'all one of these it's a chicken salad now this next combo is one that i've been hiding from you guys the reason why i've been hiding it i just wanted to make sure that it really hit and this combo right here is one that i wore to date night and y'all i instantly instantly fell in love because my husband fell in love of course but when i smelled it when i sprayed it on and he was getting ready and i was getting ready to leave he was like babe wow you smell so amazing and i was just like thank you so i first went in with sensual instinct by montal now if you know me you know that i'm slowly becoming a montal Ammon sarah girl and i feel like it's the gemini in me because people are usually a montal or a man sarah girl but i honestly like both it's like powdery sexy sweet sensual like perfect for the winter time y'all it is so good by itself but y'all i don't know what happened but my crazy behind decided to layer it with this fragrance and it is ayali's love fest burning cherry stop what you're doing and order these two 
If you're missing one, go ahead and order the other one. And when I do layering videos, I kind of want y'all to like layer with me, like smell it with me. I have the little um, sheets right here. And y'all, this whole area smells good, but y'all, I don't know what it is about Sensual Instinct with Love Fest. I feel like Sensual Instinct uplift or, you know, amplifies that cherry note because y'all, it's been dried down for like a good 45 minutes now. And I still smell the cherry. Comment down below if you have these two together and then try them and let me know what you think because maybe I'm going crazy but I still smell the cherry maybe on the skin I still smell the cherry on my clothes I still smell the cherry but when I wear this by itself I don't smell cherry but together the cherry is there comment down below let me know now I don't get that much palo santo when I spray these together versus when I spray this by itself when it's by itself I get it but in this I get more of the cherry and the raspberry y'all I'm sorry I'll be commenting set, talking about like I'm making y'all spend money and I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to make y'all spend money but baby these are so good if you have love fest and you have issues with it lasting long definitely definitely stop what you're doing and get sensual instinct if you already have that too layer them because baby trust me you will never go back it is so good and I love it and my husband really loved this one too and he was like you smell like a um exotic like um drink and i was just like really because of the cherry i think and then essential instinct kind of have like a medicinal i'm not gonna say it's medicinal but it does have like a medicinal aspect to it but y'all together so good and i honestly don't want to wear this by itself anymore i really shouldn't be sharing this with you guys because this combo right here was founded by my husband I really should not be sharing it with y'all because this is what he be smelling like. But I don't mind because my cherry bombs are my loves and I know you guys are not gonna run and tell nobody about it. I trust y'all and it's our little secret, okay? <laughs> but this combo right here is amazing. So you first go in with Naxos by Zerzhoff. Now y'all know my husband loves Zerzhoff. He loved Noxos. I think Jerzhoff is one of his favorite um, niche houses. He was wearing this and he was like, babe, I love this so much. Um, and I don't want to like wear it by itself because I want I, I want to save it. And I was just like, OK, cool. So layer it. So he was walking around looking at the collection and he was like, what should I layer it with? And he was like, you know what? I find my best layering combos when I blindly layer, not thinking about it too much. So he took it and he put it on. And then he walked up to the collection and wore this next fragrance. And y'all, when I smelled him in the car, like, you know, it takes some time, like when you layer fragrances for it to like actually like marinate in some fragrances, it, it hits right away, but some, it takes a, like a good five to 10 minutes. So when he sprayed it, I was already in the car. So when he got in the car, y'all, when I tell you, I didn't even care about going to our destination at this point because it was just that good. He layered it with Javoy's Fire at Will. Y'all, I probably would have never thought to put this together. Honestly, in my opinion, I think this is the smoothest tobacco and honey combo I've ever smelled. And I think that is perfection. It's a masterpiece and it is really, really good. People don't talk about it as much, but this right here is so freaking good. And I would have never thought to put it with Fire at Will because this does have like that sweetness in it. But y'all, Fire at Will has that vanilla. It's like a waffle cone. It's like a vanilla ice cream. It's so luxe, but so simple and complex and minimalistic at the same time. But y'all, these two together, it literally smells like you have a vanilla cake and you drizzle some honey and then you take, um, I wouldn't say tobacco, but like you take a cinnamon and you burn the tip and you smoke it. You smoke the cup or the vessel that you're going to put your ice cream in and you let that sit for like five to 10 minutes. And then when you're ready to put your ice cream and then your ice cream has that drizzle of caramel and honey and then it's smoky at the same time. I tell you, this literally made me go crazy. Like I was all up on him that night and we went out dancing and I was just like kissing him and on his neck. I was so affectionate. And he was like, girl, like I love this Abby. And I was just like, yo, that combo is dangerous. These two are amazing and I just love them. Definitely put these together. Like I tried it on my skin too and it worked, but y'all on my husband. Now I apologize if this video is a little bit longer than the others, but y'all, 
These layering combos are too sexy. This next one is one that I put together when I first got one of these fragrances. And when I first got this fragrance, I was just like, oh, I'm so happy to have it in my collection. But when I put it on my skin, I was just like, mm, imagine the layering combos. So one day I decided to get the next fragrance and I put it on. Okay, I'm, I'm rambling because I'm so excited I'm rambling. Um, the first fragrance that I layered on is Oud Satin Mood. Y'all know how Oud Satin Mood smell like. It's so luxe, it's so sexy, it's beastly. And it's like more of a fresher oud, okay? Y'all already know this is good, right? But think about layering it with tobacco. Y'all, I don't know what it is, but the oud and rose mixed with the tobacco and the sweetness in this, y'all, this is so sexy. Now this is just giving like, imagine Denzel Washington, okay? If he decided to wear something like this or Morris Chestnut, like this is what I would imagine them wearing, like something super sexy. <laughs> oh my God. This is another one that I imagine LeBron James wearing, but I'm not talking about like basketball LeBron James. I'm talking about like businessman LeBron James. It is so freaking good, y'all. Definitely get y'all one of these because it is amazing. This next combo is amazing and I'm not gonna linger on it too much because I think I shared it on my socials before, but y'all, if y'all trying to smell like an Arabian princess, then this is what it is. And it's so sexy and it's perfect for the winter time. And it is sweet diamond pink pepper. Oh my gosh, y'all know that this is literally my favorite. I still haven't tried the new vanilla Royale. I might just go ahead and blind buy it and order it. But y'all, Kiali sweet diamond pink pepper though is my favorite by the fireplace. Honestly, if you don't want to cause any trouble in your relationship, in your friendships, don't wear this, don't. Because people will be down your neck. Your friends will hate you because all the guys will be down your neck. The guys will fight over you because it's just so good. Now, all of these layering combos will smell amazing on a man too. So if you're a man watching this, do not run away because all of these will smell good on you. I remember wearing this to an event with my friend and the next time we was going out, she said, Abby, I don't care what you do, but the combo that you wore last time, don't wear that around me because you're just gonna overpower me. <laughs> and I was just like, yo, like it's just that good, right? She was like, yeah. Like that's exactly how I feel around you all the time. And this is what I was wearing. Sweet diamond pink pepper and by the fireplace. Next layering combo is one that I seen Fumi Monet talk about. And y'all, when I tell y'all she talked about it and I tried it and I said, yo, this is good. Like I said, I had to put y'all on. So you first go in with Xalte by Fumi Monet, of course, her fragrance. Y'all know how good this is. Creamy, lemony, sandalwood, rosy fragrance. Oh, so beautiful, so good. Packaging is beautiful. My juice is getting darker because of the vanilla, of course. But y'all, if y'all got Exalté, layer it with Delina Exclusive by Parfum de Marley. This layering combo will make it the ultimate, 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 ultimate rose fragrance combo. Wow. Trust me, you'll love this. People will get you compliments, will give you compliments, of course. And honestly, y'all, when you enter a room with this layering combo, you will shut down the room. Cause that's what I did. When Fumi said to wear these two together, I did. And I shut down the room. I tried it on and going to an event, you know? So I was like, mm, let me wear Fumi's um, combo. And I said, girl, Fumi, you said it was good, but I didn't know it was that good. I don't know what it is, but the oud and the creaminess and the vanilla and the rose and this goes with this creaminess. It was just like the creamiest, sexiest, luxe fragrance. Like literally a princess, a goddess. This combo is amazing. Oh, this combo is so sexy and I made my husband wear it and I just couldn't keep my hands off of him, like literally. He went in with Instant Crush by Mancera. Y'all already know, if you're new here, this is my favorite fragrance from Mancera, hands down. And this is literally in my top 10 for life, hands down. Love Mancera Instant Crush, it's so sexy, it's so polarizing and I love it. I need you to smell me all the way from downtown. It is so good, right? But think about layering this with Brie Chanel, Extrait de Parfum. Oh my gosh. Now this is fig, it's coconut, it's iris. It's all of those gorgeous notes mixed with the Ambroxan and the Jasmine. Y'all, this right here, I just can't get enough of it. This is already leaning slightly masculine to me. I think that it's very much unisex, but everybody on the internet is saying that it's slightly masculine. So if everyone is saying that, then if you're not a unisex person, 
then definitely believe that it is slightly masculine and just go with the original. But y'all, first of all, this lasts longer than the original and it's more beastly than the original. That's why I went straight for this one and it's slightly more sexier and, and sensual. Layered with instant crush. <laughs> You're just asking for a disaster. You're asking to, to 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 cause trouble in people's marriages because if you walk past a married man or a married woman wearing this combo, it is not guaranteed that they will go home with their partner. Honestly, y'all, this is so good. And I know people don't wear fragrances for people, but honestly, y'all, outside of you smelling it, everybody else will smell you. So this right here is amazing this next learning combo is a combo that i found out by mistake but it is amazing it is jerzhoff page 33 oh my gosh so this is like a cinnamon it's like a fresh cinnamon spicy um aromatic fragrance i love this one a lot but layering it with vanilla woods by seven virtues the cinnamon and the vanilla in the woods and both fragrances just complements each other so well i can't stop sniffing it oh my god it's so sexy it smells like what i would imagine rihanna smelling like she's very over the edge and she stands out so this is like a masculine leaning combo that i imagine her wearing like the sweetness and the cinnamon like it just makes so much sense to wear when you smell it but like when you're looking at these two you're like mm, i would never layer these Y'all, let me tell y'all something. Compliment galore. And it's so unique. Like, it really makes its own fragrance. Because both of these fragrances, well, this at least is very unique. This is not as unique, but it does get a lot of compliments. But I feel like this is what this was missing. Like, if they put that woody, smoky vanilla in this fragrance, it's a wrap. This is amazing on its own, to be honest with y'all. But adding this to it... <laughs> masterpiece comment down below what are your favorite layering combos for the winter now you guys let me tell y'all something it took me a long time to make this video so when you guys ask me for layering combos i literally take my time to layer so it may take a couple of weeks before i put out a video but comment down below if y'all would like to see another one because I, i'm look not saying that it's gonna be soon but i'll definitely start working on it as soon as i'm done with this video okay so i love each and every one of you guys comment down below what's your favorite layering combos comment down below what you're wearing this winter and what are you going to be wearing to transition to winter to spring i thank you guys so much and don't forget to enter the giveaway for the top liberated orange that i'm hosting on my instagram now if you don't have an instagram i'm so sorry don't message me and tell me that you don't have it and you still want to be entered you have to have the instagram and you have to do all the steps don't don't forget to follow me on all my socials. I love each and every one of you guys. I'll link everything in the description box below. Until we see each other again, please, please, please stay safe. Keep on smelling fragrances. Bye, cherry bombs. Bye.